Hey guys, what's going on everybody? Mr. Dollar JD here. <laughs> oh no, I'm just kidding. It's sunburned albino. I'm gonna press the right button right now. All right, Sly has a job to pull off. We gotta go check out uh, this stuff. I had you fooled, didn't I? Oh, you bet I did. All right, we're gonna go infiltrate the the air place, the place where they the, where they where they put the planes. You know that you know that place, the air the air and space museum, the place. Here we are, the uh, Ace Fighter Pilot Club is what we gotta infiltrate. Here we are. We made it. We'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me. But those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfight. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. All right, Dimitri, where are you? Hey, Dim... Oh, that's not... No? No? Is that you up there? I don't think so. Dummy, there you are. Oh, so yeah, you're also the bartender. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Boot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I need to intimidate him a little. I could... Threaten to expose him. You might want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron. Then you'd be out of a job. I'd have no job, and you'd have no nada flight liner. Go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. Damn. Maybe I should use a logical argument. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes. Eyes and ears. Ears and fists! Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched! Paranoia looks to calm him down a little. I should... I should compliment him, make Come him feel good. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plants? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. This guy's uh, not sure I want to owe him. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Right, money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need Gang of Thieves, not Federal Reserve. Okay, fine, I'll agree to the favor. Okay, Dimitri, hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese! Uh, 
I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. <laughs> now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hiding. <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No, Seth, don't. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles. Eh? <laughs> What? What? Aha! Aha! I bid you all the competition. Okay. We have to exit the hotel to the exterior. Now, which direction would that be in? Is it this way? This appears to be the only way that out of the place that I can see. There are two double doors in the front, and I press the circle button and I'm no longer in disguise. It appears that I made the right decision. <sighs> well, that's fun for one of us, at least. Terrific. Okay, what's next? What do we got to do? Get to the safe house. I'll get to the castle and... No other job, bitch! Okay. I shall be able to do that. Okay, that was a failed attempt to jump. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, there's spotlights. Get the hell in here. Okay. That was a close one. Very, very close. I did not know there were spotlights. I did not know that they were linked to automated machine gun turrets. That was apparently an explosive. And we alerted everybody. And there's also a wolf right over there. Which is neat. Oh, they're blimps. Oh, they're blimps. Automated machine gun blimps. How so super neat is that? that I am almost dead before I even made it to my first objective. Oh, hi! Don't look at me. Okay, somehow I missed. That was very strange. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. Why are you saying sorry? This is my job. But how do I... Okay, here we go. This is the ticket. Yeah, you guys don't see me anymore. I am too pro at being stealthy. The competition starts tomorrow. The competition starts tomorrow. I want everybody and Dirk. That's not the action. I changed the voice to make it more... I have no idea. I have no idea. I suppose. Come on, get up there. There we go. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot, without question, truly. Yes, they are the best lot. But unfortunately, you will have to find out that I am... Why would you not press the circle button? I pressed the circle button. I'll tell you what happened. I pressed the circle button. And now I, my voice has gotten a little deeper and less, more, less of, uh, less, ergerger, uh, like less of that kind of thing. Are you gonna walk? Where are all my guards? Sleep? Where are my guards? That really hurts. I'm gonna stop doing that. This is the fourth video I've recorded today. Uh, I do not want to wear my voice. Or no, this is fifth. 
I don't want to wear it out for the sixth. So, uh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna make it up the correct way this time. And then, oh shit. Oh, what? Oh, who goes there? You cannot let the Black Baron see you. <sighs> I'm just so sad about life. The competition starts tomorrow. The competition to <laughs> Oh, God. Is anyone else watching at this point? I don't think so. Okay, you didn't press, uh, or you didn't go into the whole thing. See, the platforming is mostly exquisite. It's just, sometimes it's not even close. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Marin. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot without question. Who are you talking to? That guard? He's not listening. There we go. Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you up there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, uh, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. What could it be? It's gonna fall. In perfect position. It's evil, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Ah, uh, it's so weird how things just work out that way. Oh yeah, I did get the third, like, the three jump thing, so that's terrific. And I finally have a chance to use it to show it off in its most effectiveness. Effectiveness. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Indeed. Let's see. Where are the... Oh, there they are. Two, two, three. I've got eagle eyes. Two, two, three. Oh. Close. Close, but uh, we made it. All right. Where are the numbers here? They... Oh, five, ten. Five, one, zero. All right. Five, one, zero. Oh, and I got him. Very good. Luckily, I can use his triple jump to sort of circumvent. There were... I had to, would have had to open another painting. Uh, which would have been fun. I really like that that section of it. It makes me feel like a detective. It makes me feel really smart and that I have good vision and can see these things. Okay, fellas. According to the Aces flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane. While our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in 
the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Yep. All right. So who needs to do what first? Everyone except Bentley has a job. Is there any new power-ups? Smoke bomb, comma, rocket dodge. No. I'm still trying to save up for the rocket boots, so uh, that is going to be my first priority. Frame Team Iceland, Frame Team Belgium. Cooper Hangar Defense as well. So we got two Murray jobs. I know what one I both one of the Murray jobs is the one that's in the sewers, and the other one is to it's another like tower defense sort of thing where like the guys keep coming and you have to beat them up. But uh, this one is different. All right, see that armored supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. All right. Why don't we make our way inside this hotel? And then Murray's going to get this guy laughing. Now me, being a comedy genius, this okay, should be extremely no simple for me to figure out. Belgian Getting a Belgian person to laugh is uh, no gold. mean feat. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. But uh, they being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces anything is possible with me. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? Hmm. You better do an impression. Everybody likes impressions. That Baron, he's always, I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? Yeah, yeah. I expected something a lot better from you. Why don't you try... Historical humor. Belgians love history. What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy. Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. Good job, Murray. I want you to headline for me. Physical humor, thank Ever Christ. see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta-da! Hey, fish! Duck! Ugh. I need help! Hey! <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> I've never heard anybody who laughs in short bursts consistently like that, but, uh, nice work. whatever. Me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Uh, I am not a fan of physical comedy, but I assumed that, uh, you know, foreigners would be. ...to me with the monogrammed handkerchief. But we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. 
Papa Day's over now. Yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. I'm sure that the guru minds too much that you just repeat everything he says just for the player's benefit. How annoying would it be if you were talking to people? Oh, I actually need some of these people. How annoying would it be if you were talking to people and uh, every single time you said something, they just repeated it back to you? Like, what... Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty annoying. I would, I would guess. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, but I still got you. I cannot believe that that did not break the door. Cause I hit the frickin' electricity instead. Seriously. It's only cause you made a sharp turn right as I was trying to do this. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Why would the truck have automated defenses? I don't understand. Oh shit. Make it. Did it work? I guess so. But I need another guard now. Uh, there's- oh, here's one right here. Okay, here we go. Make it. Get there. I cannot believe that it has not worked yet. Ow. Yeah, thought so. You dumbass. Okay, where'd the truck go? Oh, great, it's on the other side. Oh, okay. No, we're gonna head it off. Pretty much perfect timing. Terrific. Nice work, Guru. The back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide open. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Okay. Yeah, it is going to be easy because I've got the height advantage and they're freaking Oh, well actually. I mean it'll be okay, you're gonna by the time I get there, you'll be going this way. I gotta get on this one. Here we go. Oh, why did you go that way? Oh, okay. We're still fine. Beautiful. Simply smashing. Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians. They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight. Okay. And that just leaves the two Murray jobs. Which we probably don't have time to do in this episode. Uh, but I will get to the safe house. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you want to watch more, then obviously you're free to do that because they'll be on the internet. All right, I'll see you guys next time.